So do you guys want the best and rarest schematics for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? Schematics like the ray gun and all that juicy loot? Well in this video guys I bring you the best guide for solo players with absolutely zero setup required from you which you can start farming literally in a couple of minutes. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So this is by far the easiest farm right now for you to get those rare zombie schematics. I haven't seen anything easier. This, like I said, can be done solo. You can do it in a team, but it is super effective solo too. It takes zero setup whatsoever, and you don't actually need any weapons to start off this farm. So enter zombies and make sure you have on decoy grenades, a throwing knife and an optional extra is the ether shroud. Not entirely necessary, but if you have it, equip it. Now it's important you load in with zero weapons also. These ain't needed until you actually start the farm. Plus because we're going to be doing a lot of running from them zombies uh, with no weapons wielded in your hand, you actually run faster. So once you load in, you are looking for either one of two contracts and these are found within that hard red zone this is where you want to be looking you either want to look for the escort the acv or the deliver the cargo our ultimate goal is the deliver the cargo contract as it's the one we will farm for these schematics but the way in which this works is these two are seemingly on a cycle uh, when one is completed or even picked up and cancelled uh, it won't be long before the other one appears so when you've loaded into zombies, look in that hard zone, that red zone, for either of these two contracts. If they ain't here, if I were you, I'd simply leave the game and then rejoin using the exact same loadout I suggested. Do this until you see the contracts appear. Now again, the deliver the cargo is the one you want, but if you load in and the escort ACV is here, you need to cancel this first. Either or guys, once you've loaded in and you've found one of these two contracts, this is what you do to set up the farm. You firstly need to make your way over to this tower right here within that red zone and get to the top of it. For me it's easiest just to drive a car close to it then swim across the water or get to the bottom of the hill and then just make a run for the tower past all the zombies. I've done this countless times and the only time I actually died is when I drove a car right up to the actual tower. But running to the tower from afar seemingly eliminates the possibility that zombies will spawn in mass at the foot of the tower, meaning once you get to the foot of the tower you can climb it easily. With no weapons equipped in your hands, the only zombies that can hurt you and catch you are the dogs, but you can either kill them with that throwing knife or just keep running. It takes a good 4 or 5 hits from the dog to actually kill you, so you can definitely sponge it while you run into the tower, so don't stress too much unless you have like 5 dogs chasing you. Now once you're at the foot of the tower, simply climb it and get to the top of it as fast as you can. Now once you're at the top guys, this is actually a safe spot, so you're good from this point. Now from up here, you need to parachute down to that contract. Now if it is the Escort the ACV, that one is always located in this exact spot right here. Now you do need to cancel this one for the deliver the cargo contract to appear. So if this is the case for you and the Escort the ACV is here, this is what you need to do. Do as I do on screen now. You want to parachute down to it guys, pick it up and cancel it. Now once the contract is grabbed, you want to run in this exact direction I take and you want to make your way to where the other contract will appear. This means getting on this rooftop where I'll show you a safe spot where zombies cannot hurt you. But this does mean getting on this roof where this safe spot is. Now if you parachute, try not to fail like I do and land below. I've done this countless times and it doesn't really change anything. I mean you can simply run around, uh, take this path I do and get back onto that roof as seen on screen now. But you do want to try and land up here from off the bat uh, just to make things easier. Now again, once you're on this rooftop guys, this is a safe spot where the zombies cannot get you. So from upon this roof guys, simply jump down onto this kind of like metal balcony thing and lie down. From here, zombies cannot touch you. So if you still have the contract and you haven't cancelled it yet, cancel it from this point 
4th. From this point guys, you really just want to wait for that Deliver the Cargo contract to appear. Uh, this should be straight away, but sometimes it can take a minute. Now this Deliver the Cargo contract is literally picked up from the building right opposite. So from this safe point guys, you simply just jump down, run around as I do on screen now guys, and grab this contract. Once you've grabbed a contract, run around this car and climb up this ladder. Then you simply just want to parachute down onto where this petrol station is. This is where that cargo truck is hiding. From this point guys, this is what you want to do. So from this point guys, show a decoy so the zombies down below give you a spare second for you to jump down, open this shutter and get in that cargo truck. So as soon as you throw that grenade and the zombies make a run for it, this is your time and be quick. They lose interest in that decoy grenade pretty quickly. So once you are in that cargo truck, follow the short path I take on screen now guys and deliver this cargo to the helicopter. Now when you deliver the cargo, make sure you take these zombies out which are waiting on this point. Once you do, jump out of this vehicle, grab the rewards. Now this is where the schematics can be found from and they do appear quite frequently. So from this point guys, if you don't get lucky the first time and get that schematic you want, that's okay. We can now repeat the farm from this point and it really is as simple as the last time. So from here guys, jump back in that truck and make your way over to this ammo station and refill up on that ammo. Following this path I take on screen now in the vehicle. Now if the vehicle is dead, just run, it really isn't that far. Now once you are here guys, you want to refill and you also guys want to get yourself a weapon. Any firing weapon will do just fine. Luckily in this ammo station, there is a wall purchase of a weapon so go ahead and spend that contract money getting yourself a weapon but it is super important guys that you save yourself at least 1000 of that money that essence that dollar so once you have that weapon once you've refilled that ammo from here guys we're going to go to a nearby teleport so follow the path i take on screen now guys to this building Now once you get here, if there are zombies in your way, use one of your, you should have three decoys, use one of your decoys to distract them. Then guys, you need to enter this code by shooting the three symbols as you see me do on screen now. Once you do, you spend that 1k to teleport. From here guys, you teleport back onto that first tower we parachuted off. And from this point guys, you can simply reset this farm, repeating this cycle over and over until you do get those schematics you want. Now if you do load into zombies and the contract we want is right here off the back to deliver that cargo, from this tower guys you simply parachute down to where it is as you'll see me do on screen now. Again you pick up the contract, you go around the car, you go straight up the ladder and then you parachute down onto that petrol station and you simply do as we did earlier with a decoy grenade, uh, distracting the zombies, jumping down, grabbing the cargo truck and delivering it and reaping those rewards and again repeating the cycle again by going to that ammo station refilling that ammo if you need a gun buy a gun and uh, then simply going to the teleport spot teleport back to the tower rinse and repeat guys now obviously once you have those schematics you do want to exfil successfully so if you have one schematic that you definitely want i probably wouldn't risk farming others um, and i'd just exfil out the game but do as you do guys Get those schematics, exfil out the game, and you are good. But yes, people, this is by far the easiest way to farm schematics I have seen, especially as a solo player. It will no doubt get patched by the devs when they see it, so use it while you can.
it does get super easier once you remember the route but in reality it all takes place in a small area so do what you gotta do guys on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one